In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today we will continue how to make ourselves uh, living an evangelistic lifestyle. Uh, the last time we presented two steps. First of all, try to see people in the same way that God sees them. And also we said that try to enjoy the virtue of submission. Um, which is obeying the word of God, obeying the father of confession, obeying the order of the church. The third point, try to live the life of praying. Everybody prays. But you know, to live an evangelistic lifestyle, you need not to pray day and night, but you need to spend the whole day in a prayer mood or covered by prayers. You need to exercise Jesus' prayer. You need to uh, keep many sound into your heart and praying God all the time. You need to think of God in his words. You need to pray with people and pray alone. You need to pray uh, verbally through words and also praying by just emotion and thoughts. So you need to live this kind of life of prayer. Because by living into prayer, you will be guided by the Holy Spirit to do the will of God. Because the evangelism is not easy. It's not the skill to convince others with some ideas, but it's the blessing or the gift of God for those who love God to show the truth and deliver the message of salvation to others. So it's completely a gift. It's a grace of God. And in order to enjoy this grace of God, we need to pray more and more. It was written, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So for those non-believers, when they see some man who is always happy, and always praising God, they can see the difference between him and other human beings. And they may ask him why you are always happy, why you keep praising God. Do you see God? Do you touch him? Why don't you tell us about your God? Because he is always happy. And this kind of joyful life we can never get without continuous praying. Also written, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So be anxious for nothing, but, you know, put all things into prayer. Whatever uh, will make you anxious, put it inside the words of prayer. If you are busy with your work, with your family, with your health, with your sins, with your, the future, why don't you just talk to God concerning all these aspects? By doing so, you are gaining this lifestyle of an evangelist who spent most of his days uh, talking to his Lord and getting the wisdom from the Lord to uh, deliver the message of salvation. Also in Colossians chapter 4, Meanwhile praying also for us, St. Paul was saying, just pray for me, for us, St. Paul and his disciples, that God would open to us a door for the word. Look to this. God will open a door for the world. So when you speak to anybody, just remind yourself that we need this grace of God to open the door for the world. We can easily talk, we can easily put verses, we can easily try to, by logic to convince others, but this all will not open the door. This kind of opening the door is completely a gift from the Lord and we need it through prayer. 
God would open to us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in chains. So by praying we can see doors opened to us or to other servants. When we say live the life of praying, this means that you should enjoy the prayer of the liturgy, you should, you should exercise Jesus' prayer, you should pray psalms day and night, you should keep some of the hymns and pray the songs of the church, uh, even the spontaneous prayer, the way you like to express yourself in prayer, you name many names into your prayer that you pray for those who do not believe in the Lord yet and for those who started reading the Bible and for other servants or other even uh, machinery working with you. So you need to pray for everyone and all the time. Um, another point we should mention in order to gain an evangelistic lifestyle, you should make contacts. Because we need to have contacts with the non-believer in order to give them the truth we have. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him uh, and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So when the Lord visited this man, he spent some time with him. He could easily uh, give him the, the salvation because this man loved our Lord Jesus Christ and he very much appreciated his visit. And by doing this, he started to repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And after many years, he was uh, a saint and uh, our church considered the case as saint. Also, a woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. So you have to make contacts. You have to start um, the dialogue with many people around in order to give them what you have. Jesus and his disciples went out to the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And on the road, he asked his disciples, saying to them, who do men say that I am? So they answered John the Baptist, but some say Elijah, others one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered and said to him, You are the Christ. So by this dialogue, the Lord helped them to grow up in faith and to find out the nature of the Lord Jesus Christ is not a prophet only, he is not only a man, he is, you know, the Son of God and the God incarnated into flesh for the salvation of human beings. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. So St. Paul was telling us that we should care for the people living around, we should have good contact with them and, you know, we may gain some communication skills in order to present our face to the people around. But if any of us kept, keep silent all the time, how can people around you know the truth inside your heart? So we need to pray, we need to study the Bible and obey the word of God. We need also to see people the way God was looking at them and also we need to get some good context with all people living around us and with the grace of God we can share in the kingdom of heaven glory to God. Amen.